Okay guys, so so it begins again here. I've got a pile of parts already uh, pulled off the rev here. I got a new pipe. Um, so I'm gonna start tonight. I'm gonna start stripping this thing down and uh, getting that motor out of there. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go for stripping it down because I got another chassis coming, another 07 Renegade, which is awesome. But I have to do a track swap on it. I'll, I'll, you know, all the parts that I put on here that I like, I'm gonna swap over. I'm gonna swap over these summit bars. Uh, maybe the windshield. I don't know. We'll see. Skis for sure, because these are the big wide backcountry skis. Uh, shocks are going to go on that one. Yeah, so I'm just getting into this now. Um, start tearing this thing down. Yay. Almost feels like I was just into this thing at one point. And Okay, here we go. Okay, it's just as far as I got here so far. Just working away at it 10 minutes at a time as I got a few spare minutes. Um, Handlebars are off, as you can see, all the other stuff's off here. Seat's off, because I'm going to be putting that X seat on my other body that I bought. So I bought another body. I think I said that in last time here. Uh, I'll post a picture, a couple pictures of that right now. So yeah, I got that one coming to me here this Friday. Um, that's actually the identical sled that I used to own many years ago. Uh, not the exact sled, but the exact, you know, same looking sled. So same year as this, just not an X chassis. So I'm transferring all over all the X chassis stuff. So right now I'm going to try and get this, oh, get this motor out of here tonight. So wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So yeah, getting one of these motors out of these revs isn't a, too bad of a chore. Getting the Y pipe off can be a little bit of a bugger. But what even makes it more of a bugger is when your bulkhead or your nun here is twisted and pushed right up inside there. So as you can see, this is quite kinked and bent. And now I'm realizing here, to, I gotta get this starter out before I can get this motor out. Let's have a look here. See if I can get the camera to focus. If you can see down here, right there, a uh, bolt from the A-arm actually came forward and is jammed into the starter. So that's spectacular. So that's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to get that out yet. But uh, so yeah, just showing you kind of what I'm dealing with here. Finally got the Y-pipe out. That took way longer than it should have. But let's, uh, let's keep working, see if we can get this starter out tonight. Okay, guys, here I am. I got the sled flipped over on its side. Um... Just use the old water trick here to pop the primary clutch off. So now I'm going to try and continue to get the uh, starter out. Oh my god. So it's... That other bolt's way back there. So I'm going to have to unbolt the motor and uh, start working on it that way to try and get this starter out. Because if you can see here, everything is kinked. You can see where the clutch was riding into the into the frame here or into the bulkhead so yeah everything in here oh yeah look at that motor mount <sighs> so i'm in for a lot of fun here i think for the rest of this part trying to get this freaking motor out of here so let's get to work all right guys i'm calling it a night here uh so i just finally got that starter out of here out of there what a struggle um yeah, when these frames are all twisted up like this, it really makes everything pretty tight in there. So that's out now. Oh, so next thing here, another night is drain the coolant, um, disconnect all the electrical, and then uh, rip that motor out of there. And then I've also got, I want to pull the chain case off and get this track and this rear skid out of this. And the front skis and the shocks. And then I think basically after that, everything else, get it out of here it's all junk um yeah so i'm gonna keep going here well not tonight I'm gonna head in for the night but uh yeah next uh you guys will see it here pretty quick all right bam there we go motor out um you know it took me an extra 10 minutes tonight to get it out got the coolant drain got the motor out so let's have a look in here see what we can see so knock sensor swing around here she's pretty twisted up um, she's got like the main structure here for the for the motor cradle. That one is just bent to hell. Um, that one actually looks all right, but you know, um, looking around here, just there's just 
you know. The oil tank's one thing that surprised me. It cracked right here where it mounts and leaked everything out. So like I said, it leaked all over my driveway, which is awesome, so I gotta clean that up yet. But yeah, so here I am. Motor's out. Uh, so I don't know what else I'm gonna steal off this thing, like it's, besides what I said. Oh, I want that tail light. Um, but yeah, and clean up my mess here. I'm gonna look this motor over. Um, noticed pistons have got a little bit of drag there. So I gotta look into this here. I don't know if I took some snow in or something. But uh, I'll give them a good look over here and see what's going on here. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, keep tearing this apart. I get that other sled here tomorrow. So uh, do a video of that once I get that sled here and get it in the garage and look it over. I'm interested to see the... Uh, the hole in the block where the where the rod went through apparently I still haven't seen it myself but I'm gonna take those uh, tunnel support there those off too those are part of the X package so I'm gonna take those off uh, yeah so that's it a couple more things to pull off here I'm gonna sell off the chassis I'll swap the skis over off the other one like I said the shocks over and then I'm gonna punt this chassis and the uh, mountain parts up there most of that's gonna go too so all right guys Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, I got another video up soon here with the with the other sled here. Thanks.